Hey guys, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a simple buttonhole. So what we need is obviously our flowers, we need some pop tape, we need some pearl pins, or any sort of pin that you can get your hands on really, um, and some thin white ribbon, but it can be any color that you want it to be. So with this buttonhole, I'm going to be using a rose, some wheat, a bit of jip and a little bit of foliage as well so it's really simple you basically just get your rows you want to do it about four fingers for now so just cut it about four fingers so it's about that width then we're going to get a little bit of jip i'm going to cut this into a smaller unit so it can sit nicely within the buttonhole so I think I'll use two of those and just leave them there for the time being. I'm going to snip down our wheat to about four or five fingers. And then I'm going to get some other sort of smaller foliage units. You don't want to go too small because all the stem lengths need to be the same. So if you're making them the day before, they can all sit in water and they'll be fresh in the morning. So I'll just do a couple of stems of that. Take off any excess foliage. I'm gonna get my rose. I'm going to do, it's like making a mini bouquet really. Just do it in like a sort of spiral shape. So I do one at the back and one sort of at the side there. Then I'm gonna get my wheat and put that at the back as well. Put it in it at the angle as well as all the other stems are going. So put that at the back. Just a couple so it looks like that so far. And then we're just going to put our two little stems of foliage in there as well. I'm going to twist it round. And then, oh, that one didn't like that. And then just pop that at the front as well. And then that is enough thickness for your buttonhole. Really go to the top of the stems then at the binding point. If you wanna put any more jip in it, you can. I think I might put a tiny little bit more sort of at the front. Because jip stems are quite thin. You don't wanna be using any sort of thick stems. Can, then the buttonhole is going to be really, really thick. And the way I do it, I don't sort of like wire or pin them because I think they can stay fresher overnight. If you, if you do wire and pin your buttonholes, you have to do them on the morning and it's very time consuming. This is the best way to do it. Okay, so we've got our buttonhole here in the sort of mini spiral shape, like we were doing a bouquet really. And then we're going to just hold it tight at the top we're going to get our pop tape and then we're just going to wrap that around where our fingers are at the binding point like so so we usually use ribbon or string to tie our bouquets with this we want the flowers to be secure and held in place like so. So just go around a few times. It's nice and sticky, so it's really easy to do. And then just snip the excess off there. And then we have our bunny tail that's nice and secure and the stems aren't too thick. So that sort of thickness is absolutely fine. Then this is gonna be like a mini bridal bouquet. So we get our ribbon. And then basically all we want to do is hide the pop tape with this. So we fold the ribbon down a bit like that. Not too long. So basically the same size as your pop tape. Put it on there. And then basically just wrap the ribbon around. Just covering the pop tape really. Make sure it's nice and tight. Go all the way up and then I like to go down again so it's nice and secure. 
and then back up again like so and then when you stop make sure it's the back of the buttonhole because you don't want to see any of the mechanics so i'm going to pin the back so you can see i'm just snipping the exos e exos asos <laughs> i'm just snipping the excess off at the back here okay so that bit's showing i'm just going to fold that in a tiny little bit go back on itself. I know it's really fiddly to see these things on here, so I'm trying to show you as best as I can. And then we'll just get a pearl pin. You can use um, like a hot glue gun to just stick that on, but I like to use these so I know they're gonna be secure and the glue won't dry up and it'll the ribbon go everywhere. So at the back where we've got that fold, we are going to put the pin in that to secure it. It's quite tough getting it through because of the pop tape. But then you will see that the pin's coming out here. Okay, so what I do, you can either tuck it in, but make sure that you've cut the sharp bit off. But if you've got any wire cutters, it's better. Sorry if the camera's moved. I just had a phone call whilst filming, but it's okay. So as I was saying, yeah, you can either tuck that bit in, but make sure the sharp bit is cut off with wire scissors. But I just use these. I go right to the top to where it's coming out of the ribbon. And just, it's a bit fiddly doing this, but then it comes off and then you can just tuck that wire into the stems like so and hide it and then voila it's nice and secure then what i do you want about yeah i would say four fingers because my fingers are a bit short so measure four fingers and that is where you want to cut the ends of your buttonhole and there we have a stunning and simple buttonhole so then to pin it on, I just use two pins, basically, and you just go through the jumper. I'm not going through that jumper, <laughs> but you get my gist. So you go in and through so it comes on the outside, or you can use magnets. Um, but yeah, that's a simple way, and then you can put that in a little pot, and it's ready for the next day, so you don't have to stress about it in the morning. You can use any flower that you want, really. Nothing with a thick stem, otherwise it's going to be super duper thick. So you can use sort of sunflowers, spray roses, calla lilies, carnations, um, ranunculus. Just don't use anything like um, hydrangeas or anything that really wilts easy. Uh, what else would wilt easy? um yeah oh nothing like um cosmos or poppies or anything dainty really just stick i would personally stick with just the rose calla lily uh sunflower spray rose but not nothing too big either like a lily so yeah <laughs> that's all good then but then i always use a filler flower like chip or wax flower a bit of foliage like eucalyptus or ruscus so it's not too big and it's kind of dainty you can um put bunny tails in there and dry flowers and things like that but it's really simple and that's how i do my buttonholes um i can do a wired one but i don't do wired ones so i don't mind doing one if you'd like to see a wired one i can do that as well um but yeah that's how you make a simple buttonhole, guys. How easy is that? I hope this video was super duper informative. If it was, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so our channel can grow and we can make more videos like this one and grow together. And I'll see you in the next one.